Oh, I love playing at home. There's no other place to rather be. I feel like we have the biggest home field advantage just because of our crowd. It's awesome. It feels good. You know, we had a lot of nervous kids today. I mean, last night to me, as you could tell, the older guys were ready, but you know, it's uh, it's, it's always a tough fight, no matter who you play. And uh, we just happened to get off to a great start today. It's always great to get a first one in this playoff system. You know, a lot of got new guys that haven't had a lot of playoff experience. It's great to come out here and, and get after it. You know, after you know a really good football team that we play, played today. Uh, we haven't gone more than two games in a row, I don't think, without a major injury. And, you know, we've lost some guys. We've got some guys banged up. And, you know, this one's devastating to lose somebody of Dane's caliber and at that position. He was having a great two weeks of practice. I thought he went against our number one defense all week and did a great job throwing the football. And you can just see the confidence. And he was ready for this game. He deserved to have success. Uh, it's just a heartbreak. Well, these guys we group, there's a lot of good players around. And guys like Travis Brown and Marshall McEwen and Gabe Lee. And, you know, Alex Fantasy up front. Those guys have done a great job. And hopefully uh, we'll rally around each other this week. Immediately when he went down, he was reaching for uh, his knee, and I thought, uh, you know, that's just that's horrible to happen to someone. And I, you know, just hoping it's not as bad as it seems. You know, as a player, you just can't you, you have to try to just forget about it, you know, because you got to continue with the game no matter what. You know, he's just come, becoming a better all-around quarterback, you know, because usually he just make plays with his feet, but now he's He's become a great quarterback, you know, and now we're going to have to rely on him, you know, but we have the utmost confidence in him. You know, we just look at ourselves, you know, just like when Gary went down and said, you know, we got to pick it up a little bit and uh, make him feel comfortable back there. And, you know, and God, and Matt's such a great playmaker that it's really easy sometimes as an offensive line, you let him do his deal. And we went over a lot of film and, uh, you know, prepared really hard, and then the guys around me just made it comfortable and just to go out and play. The guys overall played well. Our whole defense played great. You know, this the up front, those guys played awesome. Got pressure on the quarterback all day. So. I always did a couple good things. I thought Chase played extremely well. I thought Cody Lamb and, uh, played extremely well. You know, we had some breakdowns back there. And we just got to be a little bit more focused, maybe a little bit more intensity back there. Uh, well, we knew Coach was telling us that they averaged like 15 yards a catch. Each, or like as a receiving unit, they averaged 15 yards a catch. And so we knew they liked those deeper, those big play routes. And so... We kind of played off and knew that they were just going to keep throwing and they are going to keep going at it because they said they're a big play offense. Oh, yeah, our defensive linemen, they've been playing great all year. And, uh, you know, when they're making plays in the backfield, it's real easy to play linebacker. So the biggest thing was just stopping the running game. Uh, they have a two-back offense, which we don't see very often in the frontier now. I thought the two weeks of preparation really helped, and we got back to the basics a little bit in practice. And I think it really did. I think our run game was really good today. It's the best it's been in about a month, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, I mean, they run just uh, amazing routes, and uh, you know, it's it's uh, one of those things where you just got to put the ball on them. You know, receivers have a the thing we say: ball tell you fall. You know, that's what I try to do: is do my job. And had good blocks downfield and end up in the end zone. In our offensive line, I thought, did a great job picking up the different blitzes all day. I thought they did a great job in pass protection with the with the guys coming off the edge because they, they were pretty good that we saw in film. And feels awesome to move on and be able to play another week. Um, just have to uh, prepare hard next week for whoever we're going to play and just uh, do as we do normal and uh, prepare and get ready for the game and then come out and just give it everything for 60 minutes. For us seniors, it's one and done, so uh, every win's huge. You know, now we get one more week and uh, it's big. It's just awesome, you know, 16 teams now to 18. You, get, you win that one, those four, you know, it just keeps getting smaller and smaller and just more exciting every week. We were looking at Dickinson this week and now it's over and we got a win, so we'll see what we get tomorrow. Uh, I think we're all excited to keep moving on.